at my nails. Hello everybody. It is a Thursday night. I took tomorrow off. I took a personal day because I had to work over the last weekend because we had so much shit to do, okay? And I finished it yet today, so I'm good. I wanna do something that I like and I enjoy. So I rented a car and I bought lift tickets and we are gonna go snowboarding alone. So excited. So I'm gonna go start pack things for tomorrow because I wanna leave around 5.30. I'm gonna get there really early. I can chill in the car, whatever, but I wanna get there early because it snowed like 17 inches two days ago. So I wanna drive as slowly as possible. I also haven't drove in like six months, so we'll see how it goes. Good morning. So I woke up late an hour late, so we're still on time, but I'm not early, okay? I couldn't sleep last night. I had a bunch of anxiety, for always, but it was like pretty bad yesterday. So. Oh shit, I need to get gas. I was looking at the wrong one. All right, so let me go get gas first, and then I'll head over. I'm trying not to stress out because All right, it's 8.40, we made it. We got here around 8.20, but I had to take the massive number two. And so I went to the bathroom. It's honestly like such a struggle to get there because it's snow, so. I have so much anxiety when I take days off and there's no reason for me to have anxiety about work because I took the day off, you know? What the heck? Why does it matter? But I just, I can't stop thinking about it. So I just turned my notifications off and put my status on do not disturb out of office. I think I'm ready, like not in a weird way, but I think I'm ready to graduate from the greens actually. This is my second run and it's like, I think I need to challenge myself a little more. So I'm gonna do one more run and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and go blue. It's like pretty empty, so I think they're letting us like Ride
it's 12.30. I think, honestly, like three hours is max. I think I did 10 runs. Pretty tired. Anyways, we are heading out to a Valley Village. I know, really weird, right? Like, why the fuck am I going to a Valley Village? Well, there's this YouTuber I've been following and she literally always finds the coolest things at the specific Value Village. And because I have the car, I wanna go check it out. So that's what I'm doing. And then I think I'm gonna get some Korean food or something for lunch. We'll see. So I got a uh, Korean samnontang and I'm very full but I was in the area and so I really wanted to try this poke place because like everyone says this is like the most like authentic poke so I'm gonna try one. This a, it's not actually spicy ahi, it's um, a mix. Wait, is it even ahi? It's ahi. It is fresh ahi. It's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, it's all right. This is pretty good, but the taco itself is so big. Mm. I think I can add a little more Hawaiian salt, <laughs> but whatever. In 2.7 miles, take a slight right turn to merge onto I-5 South towards Seattle. So I think I'm at that point in my cycle where I am very, very down. Like I'm honestly like barely hanging by a thread. I am not okay, okay? And so I had to take a mental health day, which was today. And then I took myself on a solo day, went snowboarding. Super fun, okay? I love snowboarding. It's something that I'm like trying to learn to do because I feel like I'm so freaking shitty still. But the way my your brain thinks when you are at a low, even when you're doing something you love, is insane. But it's so funny because, you know, people are like, oh, you're depressed, like, you know, go do something you love. You can do something you love, but at the same time, like, you're not gonna feel anything. I'm not depressed, like, I mean, <laughs> I'm not going through that right now, I'm going through something else, so. I mean, you know, I still had fun, but at the same time, there were moments where I was in and out and not having fun. <sighs> Mental health, bros. Mental health.
I can't tell if I'm hungry or if I'm just tired and I want to eat everything. You know that feeling?